Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we are going to go over some changes that I have made to our grinding strategy here on Rancho Del Arroyo for the Great One. And then after that we are also going to take a look at a bunch of stream highlights that we have had over the past couple weeks grinding for the Great One. And we have had some pretty cool kills including a diamond with the 45 Colt which is... In my opinion, one of the weakest guns in the game, but every once in a while I enjoy taking that thing out and trying to get a diamond with it. So that's what we ended up doing on one of these diamonds. But before we get into that, let's talk about what I've been doing with the white-tailed deer recently as we take out this pretty good sized buck right here. Now I've just been using the 300 on white tail just to get them down as fast as possible since I don't really care too much about metals unless it's a diamond. But since this guy is a diamond potential, uh, even though he won't make it most likely, I think we should still take him with the M1. So that's what we're going to do right here. And get as many of these guys down as we can because our brand new strategy for hunting at least this lake and some of the lakes in the area is that we're going to be wiping every single whitetail deer from a zone so we pretty much just shoot everything that we can get down and that's been working out incredibly well for us we did it on one of the recent live streams and man it was honestly just an insane difference between this and our normal of just like two bucks at each zone uh, which is what I was doing before and this seems to work way better on Rancho I do still think that on Leighton Lakes it's gonna be better to just kill two because the uh, zones are quite different on Leighton the way they work on Rancho is vastly different from the way they work on Layton, and because of that we're actually able to use different methods than what we're used to using, and it's been working out pretty good for me at least. I do want to real quickly give credit to a couple content creators who kind of have been using this idea for a while, uh, that being the slaughtering every single herd that you have no matter what's in it and just uh, letting them respawn new herds and uh, those creators are Ron McTube and Mel's Gaming. They both have been doing similar strategies to this for a while and I mean both of them have three great ones so it definitely is working out for them and I'm hoping that it'll work out for us too. But this is the big buck that we took down. It definitely doesn't look to be that close to diamond but 238 is a very solid deer. That is a good sign. You love seeing those big bucks. Hopefully we can get ourselves another diamond soon but but anyway, I think it's time to jump into all of the stream highlights that we have from the past couple weeks because we got quite a few of them. And without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So this first clip doesn't actually have any commentary over it, so I'm just going to real quickly talk about what's going on here. So this is, I believe, the only clip in this video that's going to be from Leighton Lakes. But basically, this was during the time where I was trying to find all of my whitetail zones on Leighton. And at this point, I had not killed my second great one. So this is quite an older clip. But this was the first time that I had ever gone to these lakes and actually found whitetail. And there just happened to be a level 3 chill in here, which was pretty cool. So we got lined up on this guy, took him out. And sure enough, he ended up making diamond. And he may have been a small diamond, but it was cool to get one, especially since at this point I was just searching for my zones. So we were kind of only shooting the good things that we found until we managed to find all of our zones. And at this point, we still haven't even found all our zones, but we definitely found a good majority of them. But that's really all there was to this clip. We're going to go ahead and jump into all of the Rancho ones now because they are a little bit more interesting. So we can finally take that big buck that we spotted when we were chasing down the great one and we can also take his respawn down which unfortunately is nowhere near as impressive as him but I think because he respawned from him we should take him down anyway. So let's get a shot into him. And get the big one down too. I think we butchered both of those shots. Oh! He moved! <laughs> Well, oh well, but this right here is what our great one respawned as. Definitely not nearly as impressive, but this buck right here needed to be taken down anyway because of the fact that he came from a great one. What a beast. What a beast of a deer. 
Hey, at least it's a good looking rack, right? Like, this is one of the nicer looking small white tail racks. I actually like that one. Um, the only thing I would change is these tiny little stickery looking tines coming off the front. They need to be a little bit thicker. And then this guy right here was the big buck that we saw when we were trying to chase him down. 218 and oh man. He must have just started running as we shot because we were aimed right there. Well, that's unfortunate. We completely butchered him, but at least we got him down, I guess. How long has this guy been here? I don't hunt this zone. So this guy's probably been here a while. Well then. <laughs> that's awesome. Just random albino in a zone we never hunt. I mean, that's kind of cool, but why does it have to be the disgusting fence rack? Just, just why? Why that rack of all of the ones it could be? So I think what we're going to do while we're here is we're going to shoot all these bucks and try to get them to move. Or as many of them as we can at least. Actually, I do want to delete this zone because I don't use it. And I don't like its position. It's not in a very convenient spot, so we're going to just delete that zone. Hope it comes back in a better spot. There's our little albino ugly boy fence rack. I just, if it didn't go straight out to the sides, it wouldn't be terrible. Like if it actually hooked in like a whitetail is supposed to, this wouldn't be bad, but because it goes straight out, this rack's just not good looking. But it's still a rare. So, we will tax it. And toss it in one of the backup lodges. Still cool. Giant level 3. Oh my gosh, that's huge. 247 to 288. Um, let's get a different gun. Let's get something we haven't used on a whitetail. Just to make things interesting. Oh my gosh, we have a zone here now too. Wait, we just looked over there and there was nothing. This is amazing. This actually might become one of my best lakes. This might actually be my best lake now. I feel like we gotta do it. I, I feel like we gotta do it just because this gun's so bad. We're gonna do it. We're gonna 45 Colt this giant diamond white tail deer. I gotta make sure I even have the 45 Colt on me. Okay, I do. Sometimes I take it off just because I never use it. I'm honestly so excited. We got a big whitetail and we got an awesome zone over here. That's a herd of four and three of them are bucks. So that means we can kill two bucks out of that without deleting that zone. We're going to try to sneak over to our tripod and call it in. Just so that we don't get too much hunting pressure here. Last thing I want is to delete this area. Look at that beauty. What a giant. Yeah, that guy's probably going to be really close to 270. And probably close to max weight. Just based off that rack. Because that is the big boy rack. That is the big boy diamond rack. We actually have more bucks here than normal. Okay, so I think shooting everything, including the does, has actually been working out pretty well on Rancho. On Leighton, it would completely break everything, but it seems like on Rancho, you can do that and get away with it. He's just slightly out of range. I mean, I could probably aim at spine and hit lungs, but I don't know if I want to risk it with a gun like this. This zone has definitely increased in the buck populations, though. We also want to take out that guy if we can. Because that is a good-sized buck. There he is. Right there. Now, we absolutely have to check the range constantly just to make sure we don't get the wrong aiming point. Especially with a buck this big. I don't want to mess this guy up. He's 84 meters. Slowly moving in closer. If he turns right here, this is perfect. In fact, I could probably get that. I think we can do that. Oh, we can definitely do that. That's perfect.
We got him. That has to be a vital. It is. We got him vitally, and he's just gonna chill there, I guess. Yep, that's the end of him. Well, it's the one unfortunate thing about this area. They do get stuck quite a bit. That is a beast of a deer, though. That is an absolute monster whitetail. That guy's huge. Like, he is a giant buck. I can't believe we took him out with the 45. Like, <laughs> one of the worst guns in the game. Just got us a 270.20 whitetail. 98.67 kgs. That is our 30th diamond white tail of the Great One Grind. That is awesome. A true giant white tail. Is he asymmetrical at all? It looks like he's perfectly symmetrical. Yep, completely symmetrical. What a beast of a buck. What a beast. And that shot actually did pretty good. It managed to get double lung. So. I guess the 45 doesn't have as bad of penetration as I thought it did. I think it honestly just kills slow. Kind of like the 6.5. Kills slow, but has good penetration and is pretty reliable. That might actually be the way the 45 is, because it actually did pretty decent on this buck. But man, he sure died slow. And I just realized his eyes are closed. His eyes are closed as we took the shot. <laughs> I guess he didn't want to watch. That's a piebald. That's a little piebald buck. Uh, let's jump into the stand real quickly. Try to get him down. And dropped him. And it looks like we forgot to claim that too. Well, we're just forgetting to claim everything. But we just got a piebald, so I guess that's pretty awesome. Wasn't a huge one, but at least it's not the fence rack. Wait. Uh oh. Is it fence rack? This might be the one right above fence rack. I think it is. <laughs> it was almost the fence rack, but... No, it is! Ah, no! <laughs> it's the bigger version of the fence rack, but it's still a fence rack. But it does have a bit of curl, so it's not entirely fence rack? I don't know. This one... That's still kind of unfortunate. But I can't complain. A piebald's a piebald. It's still a rare. And it's still getting tossed into our lodge. Alright everybody, we are in one of our backup lodges where we keep a lot of our whitetail trophies. And we have a brand new addition, which is this 270.2 that we took out with the 45 Colts. And man, the kill on this guy was honestly pretty insane. I'm pretty happy that we decided to use a handgun on him. And I figured with it being a uh, handgun diamond, we needed to go for it with uh, what I consider to be the worst handgun in the game. A lot of you might argue that the 357 is worse, but I don't know. The 45 Colt has a bunch of things that combine to just make it not that great to me. It's not only the uh, lack of power behind it, but also the fact that half the time for some reason, it takes you out of your aim mode in order to cock the hammer, which uh, definitely throws me off quite a bit. It didn't do it when we took this out, this guy out, so I'm wondering if it's only with the 410 shells, but either way, it's uh, strange and makes it really hard to use at times. But it actually went pretty well with this guy. We managed to get a good shot on him, took him down quickly, and now we've got him in our lodge as a 270.2 diamond. Uh, we also ended up getting a little piebald, which we have over here, and I don't actually know where I put the albino, but we do have the piebald right here, and then the other diamond that we got off of Leighton is somewhere here. I don't even know, to be honest. It's probably one of these, and in fact, I think it is this uh, little guy in the front here, but I uh, honestly can't remember, but... Anyway, I think we're going to go ahead and end the video there. I hope you all enjoyed. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to comment down below with what you guys think of this new grinding method that I'm trying out on the white-tailed deer. I think it's going to work out pretty well, and it's probably going to be the best way to grind them on Rancho Del Arroyo since we don't really have to worry about the herds uh, screwing up too badly on Rancho. It seems like they always appear at the same lakes that you killed them at so you can pretty much just shoot as much as you want without having to worry about losing your zones but yeah let me know what you guys think and i will see you all in the next video peace